seal. I think I'm gonna turn up. We're back here, all right. So now we've got, continuing on with the lower housing on the reactor, we've got the choke mantle in place, we've got the choke ring in place. We did a leak test, we basically took uh, plumber's putty, put around the outside of the choke ring, and we filled this, made a little water reservoir, we let it sit for about a half hour, make sure it wasn't leaking anything, so we're good. I took it out and dried it off, so now we're ready to move on. Um, next thing we'll do is we're gonna add the air jacket here and then the air jacket top plate will cover here and then we'll have our first uh, uh, airtight uh, component so we'll go into that next okay jacket uh, upside down at the moment but we've got we've got the half couplers welded on the outside here and we've got the full couplers for the two auxiliary ports that's going to come through so this is upside down basically this is going in into the reactor next and this is going to sit down in there then we're going to do three welds we're going to do a bottom weld we're going to weld this ridge then we're going to do this outside weld and then we'll have our first airtight uh, chamber that we can do uh, airtight uh, leak testing on. So we're just getting ready to do that. And once we put this in there, get it positioned, uh, we'll go through and insert the auxiliary port from the outside, actually, excuse me, in this area, from the outside. And then we will wet, where, where this comes through the exterior housing, we will weld that piece on. So we've got an airtight connection on the auxiliary port going straight in. Okay? Continuing on the reactor build, okay, so we've basically got the lower housing section of the reactor tank pretty well done. We just put in the air jacket and we're getting ready to do the leak testing. So we've got all the half couplers welded in. I've got plugs put in where the air jets would be. We've got the auxiliary ports welded in place and plugged. And then what I've done here is I've taken this air adapter and put on the ignition port. So now the only source of air coming in is going to be through here. We'll put the uh, compressor hose on here, put some low pressure air in. And then the last thing I had to do was I had, I just taped over this because this is where there's a hole here, one and a half inch hole here where the uh, air intake is going to be. I just put some tape over it. So we're going to do low pressure so I'm not worried about uh, 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 doing a high pressure test. So what we're going to do now is we're going to spray the welds, the three welds from the air jacket and then we're going to give it some uh, low pressure air and then we're going to watch for the bubbles and then we're going to mark with a marker wherever those leaks are and then we're going to come back in if we have any leaks 
uh, then we're going to come back over it with TIG and uh, fix those leaks. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that and then come back. Here we're going to spray. Okay, on the inside. Spray here on the three outside. We're going to add air and hopefully we don't see bubbles. Oh, there you go. There's one. Underneath the auxiliary port there. Okay. I need a flashlight. I don't know what happened to that, that light. But we can draw it. Okay. Do you want to mark where that is? Go ahead All right, so we put the top half of the reactor on here. We put the pyrolysis liner in place. Right now we've got everything kind of dry fit. So the pyrolysis liner is dry fit. The top, everything is in place. We want to make sure everything's where it needs to be. We'll tack it. And then we'll do the three solid welds just like we did on the air jacket. We'll do the bottom weld. We'll do this weld here on this ridge. And then we'll do this outside weld. Um, and then we'll do an air, it, we'll have a second chamber to do air testing and what we're going to do is put a plate in here with an air uh, adapter for the uh, air compressor and we're going to spray the welds just like we did on the air jacket and, uh, and do that test. Alrighty?